Hi, I'm Andy and I'm a product manager at Access Pay. So behind me is a um, good representation of the current corporate banking experience today. So we've got a remitter and a beneficiary of funds and in the middle we've got this nice unknown of banks and intermediary chains and we kind of call this the, the pay and pray model where the remitter sends the payment and fingers crossed hopes it gets to the beneficiary on time. So within this payment cycle there can be various things which hold up the flow of funds to the beneficiary. It could be that it's held in repair at a bank, could be that there's an FX involved in any charges or compliance checks, but there's really no way for either the beneficiary or the remitter to see kind of where that payment is at any point in the cycle. So there is one thing in common with all the payments that go through this kind of flow is that we have SWIFT here. So the remitting bank sends the payments through SWIFT, through the various intermediaries, and then the beneficiary will ultimately receive funds through SWIFT to their beneficiary bank. Now what SWIFT GPI brings to this is by introducing something called a unique end-to-end -end transaction reference, which we call a UETR here, we have a means of tracking that payment all the way through the cycle and SWIFT GPI can expose this payment flow through to the banks and their corporate customers. So what we tend to do is we start to build this picture, so we start taking away these unknowns around the intermediary banks and anything that goes on in between. So you start to see more information, so the intermediary banks start to communicate information to SWIFT as they process the funds through and the payment flows through as we'd expect it to. So with this new data set that GPI gives, it, it allows the banks to, to know where a payment is at any time, to see what charges are involved, any repairs that there might be at intermediary banks, any compliance checks and foreign exchange, and ultimately what value that beneficiary customer is going to get on their account for those funds. So you can start to see there's a use case building here for the corporate customer, which is the ability to track this payment. So if I remit the payment and I want to see where it is, through my bank's portal, I can receive updates on the status, where it is, uh, how much is going to arrive at my beneficiary's account, and I can share that with my supplier or beneficiary, um, ultimately giving them more confidence that the payment is going to arrive on time and how much is going to arrive in their account. And when we start to look at potential future use cases as well, we can see this model of a, a FedEx or DPD tracking reference appearing where the remitter could generate a unique link to their supplier or their beneficiary and share that link directly through to them with the UETR, taking away the need for this beneficiary to query their bank or the remitter of funds to ask where it is and giving them a real self-serve model which will ultimately streamline the process for everybody.